There is a reason why few college basketball teams, especially historic ones like North Carolina, want to come up to the Northwest and play Gonzaga in the kennel. The first one to do it, Roy Williams and the Tar Heels tonight. And they were reminded of that exact reason very early on. Sold out McCarthy Athletic Center, no surprise, but this place got loud right off the bat. Get it into Philip Petrushev down low, NBA spin through the contact. He had 20 tonight, but the player who had the kennel going berserk all night, Corey Kispert. Transition three, Drano. Zags go back and forth with the Tar Heels, but UNC has struggled on offense this year. They turn it over 12 times. Joel Ayayi up to Kispert, finds some air, lifts off, and throws down. This place was wild. Zags go up by 14 in the first half, but more from Kispert. The drive, the crafty finish, and the flex. Second half, North Carolina's Garrison Brooks goes to work down low. He finished with 16 points to lead the Tar Heels, but they never got closer than seven points from here on out. The Zags shoot 60% on the night. Joel Ayayi drains the three. He had 11 points on the night. Gonzaga creates a 23-point padding at one point. You know, Kispert's got more. The three... 26 points. The Jordan shrug to North Carolina. He's got some moxie, and the Zags have some wins, 12 of them to be exact, one loss. Look at that second half shooting percentage, 72%. They say after the game tonight in the kennel goes down as number one. I think it's far and away the best we've ever had. Um, the noise, the energy, um, the hype, people staying. Um, a lot of seniors and juniors who haven't been in the kennel in a long time sticking around and kind of reliving their freshman year. Uh, it was pretty cool. Every win against North Carolina is a good win, like wherever, whenever, however they look. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's huge for Gonzaga, for you know us, just giving us confidence. It was, like Coach said, you know, one of the best runs we ever had in the non-conference schedule. And the Zags have a lot of respect for their next opponent in the non-conference, the Eastern Eagles, in their post-game comments. These two tip off Saturday at 2 p.m.